The beginning of the plan is what can we all do together? What can we all start to do together to move the world in a better direction? Next week's will be what our individual perspectives are that coincide with this uh, I interactive motion um, as a world body, let's say. We're going to deal some with a world body today and what that might be all about. Uh, we did a two-parter the last two shows. Those were, you might say, the principles of who we are, what we're doing here. This two-parter is the beginning of the oh, plan. I'll show you um, why we need this, you know, in case you need any more evidence, why we need a kind of an understanding of how we can all be together and maybe a plan to get there. I want to show you a couple things from the old reliable LA Times, um, which is always good for a nightmare or two. So look at this picture. Greg, can you zoom in? This is Beirut. and. Um, a bomb has just gone off and it's killed three people. And I want you to particularly look at the woman's face because when I looked at that, I did the same thing. Uh, unspeakable. I, there are no words for what's going on in that woman's face, but here are the words that I want to give to this little illustration. Uh, the blurb speaks about the blast occurring between two buildings in a residential area of West Beirut where there was no apparent political target. Well, I want to talk about no apparent political target. That means it was OK, right? Uh, if there were a political target, it would be OK to kill ourselves. Some of us are hired to kill, right? Or some of us have license to kill. Some of us have permission to kill. War is OK if there are uh, apparent political targets, right? I mean, really? I mean, really? And you know, we are so automatic. Oh, it's OK to bomb the, um, uh, the soldiers. It is. Soldiers are OK to die. You know, they've got that agreement in the universe. Their job is to die if, if, if it's so, you know, if it come to pass. Poor agreement. At least poor not to be speaking into the mindlessness of it. If, if it must be, it must be, but let's not be mindless about it. So don't you think so we need a more of an understanding of what we're all doing here, more of a sharing of the principles, the... Um, the reasons, you know, why are we alive? And uh, obviously, we are not too tuned in to a shared understanding. So that's what we're talking about here. That's what we're particularly talking about on this show. Call which is me going up. To My number, you know, appears at the end of the show. Not only call me up with anything that has to do with an exchange about all this stuff, because in our personal exchanges, we are creating a new reality. The little pieces I am deeper connected with than you are, the ones you're deeper into than I am, we become this wonderful new reality together as we share them. So by all means, you be in touch with me. Call me up just to chat. You know, call me up to go further with all of this and certainly be in touch with me. Well, to be continued. Uh, <laughs> this is a wonderful place of we're all in it together, folks. We're mired way down deep in it, only ready for us to climb out into glory and into one another. So come back next week for this enchanting tale to continue. This cliffhanger will pick up with Robert Mueller next week. You join us at the same time. Mm, have a good week. Bye. <laughs>